doing the uh, Lewis structure of perchloric. So we begin by accounting how many valence electrons there are in the, in the anion. We have chlorine, we have oxygen, and there's a negative charge of one, so we're going to throw in one electron. Chlorine is a halogen and has seven valence electrons. Oxygen has six because it's a chalcogen. It's in group 16. So the way you can tell the number of valence electrons in an atom is by taking the second number in the group to which it belongs. So if it's group 17, like a halogen, it's got seven valence electrons. If it's in group 16, like oxygen, it has six valence electrons. Then there's one extra electron for the negative charge. Oh, there are four oxygen atoms. So 24 plus 8 will give you 32 electrons to account for in the structure. We'll begin by drawing a chlorine atom and the four oxygen atoms attached to it. That uses up eight electrons, so now we have to account for another 24. Four times six is 24, so we can start by drawing six electrons around each oxygen atom. And it'll make a structure with several formal charges, which we can then modify and give the final version of the uh, correct Lewis structure, or the more correct Lewis structure. If we draw this, each one of these like oxygens will have a formal charge of negative one, and the chlorine will have a formal charge of plus three. We'll see why in, in a moment. Let's first do the accounting of the octets. Again, this is not necessary once you master how to draw Lewis formulas. It's simply to show you how I'm uh, going through the process. Each oxygen atom has two, four, six, eight bonds count for two. Um, so all the octets are satisfied with the oxygen atoms. Chlorine also has a satisfied octet. So on that count, um, the, the structure is accurate. But let's look at the charges that develop with this particular structure. Each lone pair counts for two, and bonding pairs count for one when we're counting for charge. So it goes two, four, six, plus one. So this oxygen atom is in possession of seven electrons, as far as it's concerned, uh, which gives it a formal charge of negative one. The chlorine is in formal possession of only four electrons, but it likes to have seven valence electrons it's in, in its immediate vicinity. So in fact, it has a formal charge of plus three. Overall, this molecule would have a charge of minus one, because the four minus ones on each of the oxygens and the plus three on the chlorine would uh, add up to a net charge of minus one. But that's too many formal charges in one molecule. So let's refine it by moving some of the lone pairs in and turn them, turning them into bonding pairs. So we'll do that three times. That take, that's going to take care of the plus three on chlorine. So this new structure is going to look like this. The lone pairs that haven't been moved are still there. Now we still have fulfilled octets on all of the oxygen atoms. The formal charge on chlorine has disappeared. There's only one atom that has a formal charge, so the negative one on this oxygen that still possesses the uh, seven electrons for the charge consideration. Um, now, of course, this is a resonance hybrid, which means it has no real existence. What we, what we should really say is there are seven bonds being shared over four positions. So each bond is actually one and three-quarter bond character. Almost all of them are like double bonds, but that missing double bond is being shared. These double bonds are being shared among all four positions. And that is the structure of perchlorate anion. So it has a formal charge of minus one. 